Hey there. I want to take this video and talk just a little bit about grouping and sorting by tags because it can be a little more complicated since we can assign more than one tag to a task. This is different than say lists or due dates uh, because a task can really only belong to one list at a time and a task can only have one due date at a time. It's pretty straightforward to sort and group by those components because there's only one at a time. With tags, where you can have one tag, two tags, three tags, or even no tags, it becomes a little more complicated when you're trying to sort or group by using tags. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, jumping in now to TickTick, -tick, I'm going to scroll down and look at one of my tags, Office. So Office has five tasks, and they come from different lists, right? Project Phoenix, Operation Mirage, Kaleidoscope. Uh, they got some different due dates on here. And some of my tasks have more than one tag. So you can see these two down here under the list Kaleidoscope have the computer tag as well. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate how the tag grouping and sorting functionality works is I'm going to go to my today view where I should see the three tasks that have a due date assigned show up. So let me scroll up to today. And I do have a lot of different tasks in here, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit the sort button select the group by dropdown and choose to group by tag. All right. So I can see my different tags show up. Computer here, phone, errands, office. Office was the one I was interested in. Instead of seeing three tasks, I only see two tasks. And they are the two tasks that have only the office tag by itself. I can see up here in the computer tag group is my third office task. Okay, so why exactly is that? How does TickTick -tick determine which group that my task gets placed into? Why doesn't it place this task into the office tag group, for example? And you might think it's because it's alphabetical. Um, you know, C comes before O. But that's actually not the case. Actually, how it works is if I scroll down here to the tag section, what it's doing is it's looking at the order that I have my tags in over here to determine the priority. Meaning, since the computer tag is above office, the computer tag is going to get the priority if a task happens to have multiple tags. So I can switch this around just by moving my office tag above the computer tag. Now right away I can see Office shows up at the top and it has all three Office tasks. And I also see the computer tag which used to have two tasks in that grouping now only has the one task because the other task now is showing up in the Office grouping. The same is true for the sort by. So let me go back up here to the sort options and I'm actually going to remove my group by change that to none and then I'm going to flip my sort by to tag. Oops. To tag. There we go. So at first glance, you might think that this is a little bit random on how it sorted the tags. I mean, I can see that the office tags are sorted up here at the top first and Aaron's is at the bottom. But if I didn't know that it's actually using the order that the tags are in on the left side, I would think that that was pretty random. You know, it's not alphabetical or anything like that. But it is useful to know that that is what TickTick -tick is using when sorting and grouping by tags. So if, for example, I wanted this task, which is tagged with errands, to be at the top of my list, I would know that all I need to do is go over to the tag section on the left side, select the errands tag, and drag it up to the top of the tags list. Now when I'm sorted by tag, all of my errands are at the top of the list. So just a quick video on the logic that TickTick -tick uses when sorting and grouping by tags. It's all based on the order that the tags are in in the tag section on the left side. So if you sort or group by tags and things look out of order, 
Just go rearrange your tags in the tag section to be in the order that you want to see them grouped by or sorted by. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.